Hello guys, let's learn how to extract total electron content data um, pack and uh, electron density data and plasma frequency data with the ion sphere and other data. This website is famous and is one of the most uh, reliable data banks. So there are three sections, there are uh, several sections. The first is the entry where you input the year, the month, the day, the time you want to extract uh, data from and as well as the coordinates and stuff like that. Here you choose the independent variable. You want the variation with height, you choose the height. Latitude, longitude, year, month, uh, and stuff like that. So uh, here we have optional inputs. Let's say you want some range of frequency of the F2 layer and you know plasma frequency uh, within uh, three to five megahertz, that's that's when you you know you put some. Like this is the output. The output you want a list of data or a plot. If you want a plot, it will automatically fetch the data and plot for you. If you want a list, then it will give you a list of the data and you get it elsewhere, maybe Excel and plot it. Here are the independent variables. Having chosen the independent variables. Here, you would also need to go and specify the units, right? For example, you have chosen height here. You will tell the start height, like I want from 60 to 150 kilometers. The step size, like I want it after every one meter or two meter. So here also, you will need to specify that, okay, height is in kilometer. Uh, it, the same applies for the rest of the bit. Um, here are the the modal parameters. You want electron density. You select. You check the box. Here. You don't want electron density. You deselect it like this. Uh, in this case, I want it, so I'll leave it. The tech is here. The plasma frequency for the F2 there is here. Let's say you are interested in this data during uh, and you want to see. You want to compare with magnetic activity or other indices. So you, you like choose this. This is KP. That's the magnetic activity for every three hours, right? So um, this is some advanced button options. These are some advanced button options, sorry. And you can, you know, choose uh, whatever. So let's learn. Let's, let's do, let's do by default. We have this and uh, we can just try to plot based on this. Let's just try to see. This is where you submit. Right? You, you click on this, or this, or this, or this. They all do the same. So I can just click on this one. It loads and what do you get? Yeah. So we have the data. But we will have a plot, right? Because, um, oh, here it says the parameter must be between this to that. Guess what? We have had an error, right? So as I've told you, here is time, here is high. So it didn't rhyme. So we need to specify. Right? Yeah. So now 0 to 24. 0 0.25 means... Uh, 15 minutes, right? Because when you divide an hour into, you know, four, right? If you want hourly data, you get, you just make it one. If you want after every 30 minutes, you like 0 0.5. And you want, you know, 15, 15 minutes, like 0 0.25, right? So, so I have here and here as well. All right. So now we're good to go. It will calculate. So this is really important. When you're, when you're fetching data from this website. Yeah, so now boom, you have the electron density. That's the daily variation from 0 to 24, right? Uh, the tech, the frequency, right? And the magnetic activity. So this is the plot. You want the plot, you just want to see, you just get this. But let's say you want to have um, the real data, right? So you can get it here. Uh, let's assume we want the data from, from say, 14 September 2009. 
here you you open some Excel file by the way. You write the headers exactly as they are as the, in the output. And then you go like 14th September right 2009. Then you submit the query. So what do you get? You get your results based on your inputs. So this is uh, to give you some detail about what you have inputted and uh, this is really important. One is this, the second is the total ele no, the electron density, the third is the tech, the fourth is the frequency, the plasma frequency. This means tech unit. Tech unit is 10 to the 16 parameters squared. This is KP, it's a 3 hour KP. So how do I get this data uh, and do research with it? Uh, what you do? What I normally do is I copy this. Control C. I create a text file. Let's say I create some 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 text file called the IRI trial, which is here. What do I do? I paste. I paste it in, and save it. Right? I like to save. And I go here. In this column. Since the output is already assembled this way, right? So that, that means this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth column. So I like get my data, uh, get my data like this: first, second, third, fourth, fifth, right? So I import this data here. Uh, yeah. All right. So sorry. I go here. Get external data from text. All right. Import. Yep. Yep. Slash. Yeah, I want it here. And boom. So now you have your data. So if you want this data for more than one day, you have to be patient enough to grab this data this way. Right? So now you can do whatever you want to do with it. Thank you for listening. See you next time.